Hey, what's up guys, in this video we're going to talk about static data member of the class. So the static data members are shared by all the objects and they do not belong to any particular object. And the static members are not initialized using constructor because they are not available as separate copy with each object so that's why they are not initialized using the constructor. And the static members always must be initialized outside of the class. Like in example here we have one class called test and inside the class we have one static data member x. Now we must initialize that static member outside of the class definition using the class name along with one scope resolution operator. And then we can assign some value to that static data member. And then we can access the value of that static data member. Either we can use one object of the class along with one dot operator or we can use the name of the class along with one scope resolution operator to access the value of that static member. Like in this example program, we have one class called test. Inside the class, we are going to create one static data member. So we are going to create the static data member integer x and then we must initialize that static member outside of the class definition. So the syntax is first we have the data type then the name of the class and after the scope resolution operator we can assign some value to that static data member. Now to access the value of that static data member either we can use the object of the class test and then we can use the object along with the dot operator to access the value of that static data member or we can use the class name along with one scope resolution operator to access the value of that static data member. So if we just save and run the program and you can see we have successfully accessed the value of that static data member using both of the syntax. So we can create one static data member inside the class using the static keyword and then we must initialize that static data member outside of the class definition using the class name with one scope resolution operator and to access the value of that static data member we can use one object along with one dot operator or we can use the class name along with one scope resolution operator so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you